painting daisy in acrylic yay so <clears throat> we are going to use a very simple palette for this one very very limited uh, it's going to be golden open acrylics i love golden open acrylics except for the black but black doesn't look good in any acrylics so i always mix my own black burnt umber titanium white raw sienna red burnt sienna alizarin or i prefer to say alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue are you ready let's get started i prepared my panel with the color that i plan to use as my background color and i'm setting up the horse in very simple lines in burnt umber and when i was setting up my palette i decided to add cadmium yellow dark this will brighten up all the browns in the painting i have the two sketches in the background while I paint the pencil sketch and the watercolor sketch for the colors. When I mix my palette I usually start with one color and then I mix three other colors using that color and sometimes more. Sometimes when I start painting I need to make some changes but I like to have the bases set up. When I paint a bay horse I like to start with a lighter color, much lighter than the horse is, and then add the darker colors on top of that and mix them up. And that will give a depth and uh, brightness to the colors. And if you look carefully you will notice that many bay horses do have lighter oranges and if they have the acuti gene they even have yellow by the elbows and the knees and the nose so i went from a um, yellow to an orange to a brown and for the head i add a little bit more detail so i spent a little bit more time on that the idea is that your eye will be caught by the head and this is also how your eye works. It doesn't see everything super sharp, only the parts, whatever you're looking at, that it's concentrating on. Now that I'm adding the dark colors, you, start, you will start to see this real depth coming in. And then I've mixed um, a purple with quite a lot of blue, and then I add a little bit of white to that, and then you get this bluish color of the skin that you see by the nose and the eyes because there's barely any hairs there so that comes through and that will also help you get that velvety effect of the nose these are cooler colors you should always keep that in mind and for the markings it looks white but it isn't white it's white with a little bit of ochre and yellow makes it a bit warmer it's also in the shadow the light is coming from the right side so it should not be too bright and Daisy has a very particular shape of marking on the forehead you want to get that right because it's so personal to a horse and then add a little bit of light and dark to the nose. A horse's nose is very velvety. You'd like to have that come out. Doing the hairs, doing the tail, we're almost done. And then at the very last end, of course, you sign it. Because then everybody knows it's yours. And it'll be worth more money after you're dead. For those who haven't been here, I am Afke. I am a professional artist and I specialize in horses. And I have a lot of tutorials, which you can see here or here. I don't know when it's going to show up. And come and join me. We're going to have titanium black. Oh, titanium white. <laughs> and we're going to have... <laughs> <laughs> 